Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat. I hope everyone's having a good day. Welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. It's good to be back with you today. Oh, I'm excited to play this game that we're starting today, Spirit Bearer. I know almost nothing about it except that you play as a psychopomp, and it's comfy and cozy. I love both these things. Uh, but before we get started, I want to say a shout out to uh, Jimothy Pepper. Thank you, Jimothy Pepper, for the follow and just bringing me the joy of that name into my life. I feel like Jimothy Pepper is the, a cover band of something, but I don't know of what. So, probably figure that one out, chat. <laughs> but I hope everyone's having a good day. Cozy Psycho Pump. Hey, it, it's allowed. I mean, look at this. Look at this start screen here. Nice chill music. I like the, uh, the dotted eyes and spirit are the eyes of a spirit. I'm here for this. Also, I have no idea if it's mouse or controller. I have a controller ready. It seems to work, but uh, let's let's find out. Jimmy the Pepper is a tribute band to the Beatles and the Bee Gees, combining their two approaches to Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Turns out it's uh, been Sergeant Jimothy Pepper all along. Good one, Kevin Lisi. Good one. Yeah, listen to that cozy music. It sounds like it belongs in Minecraft with how cozy it is. Single player. Oh, the loading thing is just a little dog playing with the moon. Wow, this is beautifully animated. Oh. Hello. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, there's the button. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I... Sharon. Spirit hey, he said the thing. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, for I still had a few things left to do here. Loving the character design, by the way. That is just, it's gorgeous. I am afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Stella! I have an awesome hat. This game's getting better already. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil! I will die for Daffodil. I see... You two will share the burden then, and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world, and that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit bearers. Your task will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands. And when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdoor. The Alpha, where everything starts the Omega, where everything ends. Is that... Does that mean the bridge is God? This is where all the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you.
now. Be really careful with it. It is the Everlight, the symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. <gasps> Daffodil just went running into his robes! Oh, how highly inappropriate. Oh. Well, that settles it. Daffodil got a, a spirit light orb too. Oh, look at it. Look at him. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. Beautifully said. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep focus. Take one step at a time. We'll soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit you are the new spirit fairer, after all. Once I am gone, you'll have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Hey, Princess Perlers. Good to see ya. Bye, Jaren. Probably Karen, actually. It's spelled with the Greek key. I haven't been able to do anything except to advance dialogue, and I'm already in love with this game. I just want that to be known. Oh. Well, so much for that boat. Whoop. Come on, Daffodil. Okay, goodbye, Daffodil. Hey, Timpy. Looks like a super chill game. Topping looks... It, I, I think it's still pretty chill. Oh, Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me mm -hmm. get a look at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, mm -hmm. I see. We'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> True. Uh, it might not be that obvious after mm -hmm. all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found mm -hmm. me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. Oh, you're the new spirit fairer. You're the one replacing Karen. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. Why are you trying to get rid of him? I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. That's not a healthy diet. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one to get you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? That's a big boat. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the one. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it still works, since you're the spirit bear. Okay, meet me on the deck mm -hmm. over there. I'll explain it all. That escalated quickly to let's commandeer a boat. This game is impeccably animated. I cannot get over how good this looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, here goes. 
Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Okay, Gwen is a deer. Nope, I'm more confused. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is now yours. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Ten out of ten game of the year. Oh my goodness, I even I even love with this game already. Everything about it is great. Mm -hmm. You get to give hugs. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Rotda. Speaking of hugs, actually, uh, my homily today was about the importance of human mm -hmm. touch. That Christ heals the leper by touching him, which a would have been very taboo and. There was a fear that leprosy was spread by touch. Uh, but it's also a reminder of the way that he heals this man and all of us by reuniting to that very human element to reunite with community and the way that we can do that with our loved ones, with others, you know, through hugs in particular, but so many ways that physical touch means so much to us as human beings. Oh no. <laughs> what a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. Uh, at any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Mm -hmm. Let me think. There's only one way to clean this up. You'll have to meet mm -hmm. Albert. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. They have to be better than mine. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to move the mm -hmm. ship. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. You unlock mm -hmm. the cabin in the back. You should find a map projector there. How do I know all this? I was planning an mm -hmm. escape, remember? And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Mm -hmm. Very meticulously. Ah, uh, go open up that cabin, mm -hmm. Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use. And you just, just have to go to Albert's <laughs> shipyard. Wait. <gasps> I can hug the cat dog thing. I think it's a cat, but I don't know. It's also Alt Harbor. Okay. Ah. Stella! Mm -hmm. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by mm -hmm. myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must mm -hmm. feel overwhelmed. Karen, the Everdor of the Spirit Fairs, this place, this boat, me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense mm -hmm. of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore mm -hmm. the ship. You can give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Fishing rod. Oh! I'm using the Everlight to fish. That seems... That seems, uh, reckless. Got a shoe.
That was practically a shoe in. Any percent is four hours, 41 minutes. Okay, I believe it. Gwen percent is 49 minutes. Okay. I don't know what that means. I assume that will make sense to me as I continue to play. I can just chill on the ca I Again, this game is just A, beautifully comfy and cozy, but B, again, impeccably animated. My goodness, this is beautiful. Here we are. Now, head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade the blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what mm -hmm. it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. I feel like there's something we're not being told. But... Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. <laughs> Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in business for shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it all here. Gwen was right to point you toward my humble enterprises. Ha! Let's see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was complaining about everything, but the customer's always right. So I built him a new or better one. And of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Ah, but don't worry. You can keep this one. Let's just call this alone. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on... <laughs> anyway, with a bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you free of charge. Mind you, it's a bit bare bones in terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades you come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. My throat! Okay. So I have no money. But, I can buy the beginner blueprint. That made it a lot bigger. There you go. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on the boats. What a treat. But if you want to really be upgrade your boat in size and pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Finally. Mm -hmm. Good. Albert gave you it for free. Mm. He said he loaned you the ship. Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at mm -hmm. hand now. Cleaning up this deck. You can not You can go to your new blueprint table and move your cabin and select move. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back mm -hmm. resources. Go for it. I'll wait here. Okay, so if we salvage this building, we get maple logs, old shoes, carpet, and bottles. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary mm -hmm. amenity. Newly welcome spirits such as myself have to have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, 
sleep, not really, but I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here, but it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff, and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. Have fun. So I can build a garden, a kitchen. Well, I can't, because I don't have this stuff. But I can build a guest house. Very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as per usual. Now, at l last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And look how excited we are to be cooking. Hmm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Your spirit. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. There's only one way to get it. I... Look, I should have told you this when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Oh, a dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It takes many forms, and for me, it is always a jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the, for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take my some time to prepare myself. Okay, so we've got something of a... I don't want to say villain, but a... There, there's something more ominous at play. There is a threat to the existence. of the people of this world. Which again, we are in a spirit, we're kind of in an in-between space. Ah, look at the portrait of us on the guest room wall. I guess I'll do some fishing while we're headed to the jellies. Why us? Why have we been chosen as the spirit bearers? Were we the souls that passed at just the right time? Oh, this is dark and scary. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. Get the glimpse anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay up there. Go ahead. I believe in you. But you were going to do it. We're here to help you, but okay. Oh. Okay, so I, I appear to just be... Oh, wait. Do I need this one? Ah, it's gone. I'm guessing glims are some form of currency.
Okay, there we go. The green ones are the bright jellies. Step Zero has redeemed a Father Joe. If these are the jellyfish, where are the peanut butter fish? Will this game teach you how to pray? I'm not sure yet. I mean, I suppose it could make a case for the the positive things that are allowing the souls to pass. Um, being stuck in the spirit world into the, the Everdor and, and into the presence of God. Because if it's the Alpha and the Omega, the creator of all things, the end of all things, that is... That's some pretty classic uh, Maximus the Confessor right there. Um, the actions we take might be the results of prayers of intercession for the deceased. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. I without the slightest fear or hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Oh, Stella's given the right face to that response. Step Zero, you can't regret your points. You spent them already. Oh, you can build things up on, like, stilts. That's so cool. I'm still going to just build the kitchen right here, but that's good to know for future. He would finish every dad joke by saying no no refunds. Ooh, I think I may need to incorporate that. You can use... You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could try to these loose corn kernels that I have hanging around in my pocket. Why do you have a? Why do you just have loose corn kernels hanging around in your pocket? Two. Where are your pockets? Three. Why didn't you just eat those if you were hungry? I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. I want this kitchen timer. In fact, I just want the Everlight. Like, it makes an ore. It makes um, oven mitts. What more do you want? Corn kernels. Keep <laughs> your pockets fresh. I don't I don't think it's how I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. You're already dead, you're a spirit. Thanks, Stella. That's better than I thought would be. Why are you eating a cake? Like, okay, I get that they only had animated one thing, but it's just... If they set this up as you will receive popcorn for this quest, they could have animated popcorn. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be good for you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you've... Al I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not exactly sure, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you already knew that. Nope, did not know that. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. There's a blueprint for a field and a garden, which means you can grow many different things and turns this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should have the field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for when or for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. In it. Linen in it. That's, uh, that's hard to say three times fast. Which in turn will be used to craft more things in addition to 
building a field. We should go buy seeds to use in it, but that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove. And there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Hey, look, she's happier. I don't have enough for the field, Stella. I have some bad news. Something tells me... Sleep until morning. Yes! Stella! Wake up, Belle. What? <laughs> don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. You don't say! Those interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells. Okay, but... You had something you wanted to tell us, and now you don't, so okay. Let's find this island. It's probably this one. I'm sure it's fine that we're going over unexplored, uh territory. Let's cook some fish. I can cook the log. I don't know how I feel about that. Animations are so smooth. <laughs> Mustine Cove discovered. Wait, it didn't finish cooking. I glitched the game so it didn't cook the fish properly. I pulled it out and it decided that that was uh, right during the cutscene. Aw, oh, go me. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. No, I unmultiplied fish. I, I uncooked fish. That's the problem. Oh, that's too early. Oh, maybe that's what I did, is I took it out too early. Well, you see... A, a glim bottle and an empty bottle. Can I get the glim out of the bottle? It looks like I already did. Oh, wait, nope. Open it. Hey, there we go. Here we go. Ah, what a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you actually need. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. No, I think I think reducing fish isn't exactly a magic trick. Anyone can do that with a with a fork and knife. It's just called eating.
Yeah, I know that there's more quests, but you know what? Oh, interesting. So I have to charge up my Everlight as a pickaxe, but if I overdo it... I was worried I, would, I just sank, sank there for a moment. Oh, look at, the, look at the cat balancing on its ever light. <laughs> I'm so glad I stayed sort of... I, I knew nothing about this game other than its name and its basic premise. And I am in love with it. And I'm so glad I get to share this first experience with you, chat. Well done. Congratulations. For you have become Death Destroyer of Worlds. Hey, be nice. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build a field with those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Well, I already got everything. Okay, so I'm going to have to build a field up on top of something. I don't want to lose this... This triangular roofing. I really like it. But it does take up a lot of space. Hey, Happy Cynic. Was that an Oppenheimer reference? I Yes, and also I guess... Um, was that from the Kubla Khan originally? What was the poem that was from originally? Is it about Ozymandias? I forget. <laughs> ah, it's looking better than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple, but eloquent. Now, all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus. So don't take my word for this. Anyway, there's one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. He has set up shop in Hummingburg. The busiest town of all. Theodore and his brothers are founders of Raccoon Inc. A shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Well, we don't like that. Also, I think they make the T-Virus. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's turn it to Hummingbird, then. Okay, I have no seeds to plant. Ooh, more spooky jellyfish time. Oh, but they have lots of seeds. Let's cook a berry, find out what happens. And we won't take it out of the oven too early this time. It's like Animal Crossing, but for spirits on a boat. Also, I want to see cosplays of Stella mostly because I want to see this hat in person. Okay, what 
What does poached fruit qualify as? Small dessert. Okay. Ah, hummingbird. Here we are. All right. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. Oh, hello. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell oh. people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow you. I scream if you don't stop following me. I know where you live now. Stop rattling my knob. <laughs> oh, take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit bearer in the yeah. Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's mm -hmm. abilities. Two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use the obbles to activate it. But to get obbles, you need to get more spirits mm -hmm. on your ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Well, yeah, this... <gasps> Double jump. This This island is full of spirits. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the Mountain Gnome race, there's this nifty sy synergy with level 3 rogue ability ev eviscerate. Mm -hmm. It's sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, right? That's... Ooh, 5d20 damage. That's a lot. Okay, so these are spirits, but they're not... A stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me. I've been to the doctor in forever. Oh, no! Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I'm not sick. I'm okay. I simply adore your hat. Me too. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares, seeds, logs, rocks. All useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Everyone needs a hat like Stella's. So there are spirits here, but I they don't seem to want to join. <laughs> so I wonder how I tell what spirits are willing to come on the boat. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. He looks amazing. <laughs> key for Hummingbird. He's selling a key for five million. Hmm. Yeah, these prices are kind of a lot. Mm -hmm. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? I guess. Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm -hmm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Mm -hmm. Oh! What? Madam, what's the meaning of this? My friend here is the new spirit fair, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I uh, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, just fair prices. I So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you I'll be I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But, yes, yes, of course. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Just kind of read him the riot act, but, uh... Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that free merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the, the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie to you. It is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all those best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to have the ability to jump inhuman, inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could use the stairs in that house, but some other idiot lost that key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever! Yeah, hashtag upstairs crew. 5,000 now for the key. That seems much more reasonable. 
Now let's buy some linen. Uh, let's buy one of each. Let's buy some extra coffee because I have a feeling that's going to be popular. Carrots are nice and healthy. And some more linen because we're going to need to grow things. Or make things. Ah, you've gotten everything you need. I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll be up here. Good day to you. Look how jaunty and happy he is. This game has one of the most aesthetics of all time, and I am here for it. Wait, you're colored differently. Oh no, we've already talked to you. It's too dark to navigate. It was possible again at dawn. Okay. Why do you keep yelling out for me as I'm falling asleep? It's a little obnoxious. Wake up, people. I'ma hug you. Thank you, I needed that. Her general mood is slightly above. Fine. Oh, it seems she's hungry again. So let's give her some... No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. You're a deer. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will become a cozy floating farm. Don't worry about it. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants mm. once in a while. Don't take me my word. Don't take my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Ooh. You'll have to find better mentors mm. than me, which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit bearer, and spirit bearers mm. find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where you can might be in someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one, if he is who mm -hmm. I think he is. Go, let's sail. I'm gonna see if I can build Okay, I don't have enough for a garden as well. I need lightning in a bottle for a garden. Makes more popcorn. It's because it's quick. have a storm to stale, sail through. Where we can get lightning in a bottle.
how do I get lightning in balls? Is it something I have to fish for? While I'm in the storm? Do I have to put a bottle out to trap it in? Maybe I need to build a lightning rod. I don't know. Shine Creek. Mm. Thanks, I love mm. it. Good. Hey, Spirit. I'll be with you in just a moment. I just need to fell some trees. He's a frog. Oh, great. You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus in on these wild fruit. Now, it's just berries with no twist, unless it's just down there, in the water. I do it myself, but I have to take these pulpy fruits to take care of. Oh, that's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. Don't want to get the berry juice all over it. Oh, never mind. Just, just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't squeeze it. Wait a minute. Wait. Maybe you can help me. The island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship with cooking, fishing, and building? I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Perfectly normal spirit interaction. It's amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Oh. It's me, Stella, your uncle, Atul. Hi, Uncle Atul. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights the city with you. I was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that... Uh... I knew it. Oh, it's a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen one in action. I've heard only rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out here. Oh, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Oh, let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go, Fran.
Why is my uncle a frog? Oh, interesting. So now that I can catch bigger things, there's a stress point where this thing will break. And I need to let go for a moment. Oh, cool. Great job, Sprout. I never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has got me really riled up, which reminds me. This shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. No, I was not curious about how the 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 seawater tasted, but thank you. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Okay, so I have two opals. So Stella's probably going to tell us to go back. Oh, you've got two opals. Remember the shrine in Hummingburg? I try and add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I got a bowl. I'll be right there, Uncle O'Toole. Are you going to teach me how to catch lightning in a bottle? So quick, come here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bolts will, will cast sparks where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Oh, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you get hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you'll get lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightnings and bottles are pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry. They'll be pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. My uncle just told me to jump in front of lightning. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it there for a second, uh, but you gave your old oak quite a scare. Did you feel that rope? What a rush. You look pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have hoped for. You're welcome. Wait, I wonder if I can put the lightning in a bottle into the oven. Ah, uh, dang it. It's just like one too, one size too big. Um, 
gonna add it. The kitchen on top of there. Because then we can put the... Are these crops growing? Still growing. That's about it. Let's go to bed. You know, I, I know obvious comparisons are going to be to um, Animal Crossing, but I, this feels more like a Harvest Moon. If that makes sense. upset with now is hungry okay give you some comfort food I'm browsing for some fiber you made it wicked mood it's getting up here I kind of lied earlier it's not so great up here but you're here so it might get better I don't have a membership card for you you'll be an honorary member for the upstairs crew I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. I actually wanted to talk to the spirit, but I'm glad I could sit in the chair. <laughs> That's a big sheep. <laughs> yes, young person. Can I assume you're busy? Of course, you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Okay, so that's a spirit that we can get aboard. <laughs> Upstairs crew forever! My sister keeps asking for me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should try to rob, have someone try to rob me. I just don't know, want to loan my sister money. Then say I don't want to loan you money. Set boundaries. Oh, this is a spirit that can join. Look, it's got a different shape. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. That cat. It looks familiar. Daffodil? Oh, is that you? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Oh, I ever so silky, aren't you? And that must mean Stella. Is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. Is that your boat over there at sea? Why, oh, you've come to rescue me again, I see. Oh, well, not so fast. This time, I'll be doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. You have some lessons to go through. 
Oh, okay. Why am I so well known? There feels like a pretty big reveal in this game coming up. Well, not like it coming up soon, but eventually regarding why I'm here and why I'm the spirit fairer and all that. Oh look, everyone comes to meet the new ones. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I can feel, I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Ah, getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Is that a snake? <laughs> Pretending to have arms? That's a lot. Oh, look at lip. Old silly me. I was just... Yep, that's a snake, just pretending to have limbs. I was just about to reprimand you for lack of greenery on your boat, but lo and behold, you've already put together a wonderful little garden. Yes, I feel a bit excellent student, Stella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start on the first lesson. Make sure there are seeds in these plots. They'll be important to uh, there already are. That was your mood. You're hungry. Um... Okay. Yeah. Oh boy, I just love food. I could never tell. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've already I've been quite excited to share. The world has some strange rules, as you probably already noticed. It's simple, as soon as Karen retired, the waking world rewrote such that you were always the spirit fairer. That's a take, I'm not Sure. Uh, yeah, it is. It is an interesting take on a snake. It's a take on a snake on a lake. Oh, this world has some strange rules, it says you can. Oh, you know, yes, you're a snake talking to me, and using your tail, and body like arms and hands. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. But you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror that we hold to ourselves. That's deeply poetic and beautiful. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. Aww. And as expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I managed to write a little song. The plants seemed to react particularly well to it. I want to test that observation with you. Go inside the garden. Try playing that piece to your crops. Wrong button. Rhythm game. <laughs> game, stop it. I already loved you. supposed to stop. I keep trying to look at chat and I'm screwing up. It's entirely on me. I can just stop playing whenever, I guess. 
Ah, oh, have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play that some music, too. They might help, if in a good mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. A strange coin has been tick tickling me since I arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those Paul analogies again. Uh, you're probably... No, you're not necessarily hungry right now, but I'm going to give you this fish anyway. Okay. Oh, so you can't feed them if they're not hungry. Interesting. Should probably cook some more fish. Let's cook a squid. Calamari. Mm. I want some calamari. Okay, I have coffee beans. Stella! You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. And you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us, especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. Mm. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have my own space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious, but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A spice in, a spice. A space in which I could read and unwind, far from the turmoil deck. Oddly enough, I'd seen something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build this for me. Uh-huh. Sure thing, Gwen. How much is your lodge gonna cost us? Oh, we can build it right away. Oh, but... It's too tall, so we're gonna have to move the kitchen up to here. So we can put Gwen's lodge there. I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does want us to have a place of your own. Does that remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Is that a reference to Waverly Place? Probably the only place I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Wow, she has a nice bed. I look, took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose, but... No, I'd make it even Ooh. greater. More plans. Bigger buildings, better pencils, I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert's shipyard can help you out. <laughs> Squid skewer. Let's make some coffee. Tell you, Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I have been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and menacing reefs and rotten fruit. And since joining your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think they are of the sea, or maybe the mystical of the Everlight. Uh, well, anyway, I've been convinced my dreams have been visions. Furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes keep being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okay. So we can visit the Quartz Dragon, or we can visit the shipyard. I think we're going to go to the shipyard first. You know, it's nighttime. Why can't I sleep?
Thank you. I thought it was an excellent choice for Thursdays based on what I knew. Which is not much, but I figured if we're talking about a psychopomp, there's some pretty good content in that alone to talk about and do for Spirituality Thursday. And, unlike other Spirituality Thursday games where I might just do them for a bit, this one I do intend to do until uh, the end. So... What am I hitting? Perfect sea trash! Where... Oh, I see. It's... Literally just a giant thing of sea trash. Quick, jump in the water! There's wreckage! I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. I already did. Sprout. There's a point where you can decide to finish the game, but it does not require 100% completion. Okay. Well, I was not intending to 100% complete this game on stream, so... Stella! Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect you have a light being well light. Or mm. some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. In the meantime, you can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy mm. little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go and the ship start again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never mm. been my forte. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it mm. at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See mm. you tomorrow, Stella. Good night. I've already been waking you up with the bell. trajectory is still great. Didn't mean to hit that. Wake up. Wake up, people. Hello, good morning. Is hungry. Likes everything. Well, how about coffee? Oh, the service on this ship is incredible. <gasps> no, has been in his hungry has unsettling dreams. Well, do you like grilled fish? Oh, no, 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 no. So, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. Oh, no, that's right. She's vegan. Well, have some berries. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. How's your mood now? Ah, okay. But I can't do anything about the dreams. Jump down. I will be with you in a moment. I need to give... Now, this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had... I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very much, Stella. I can collect barnacle shells off of my boat. Oh, hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fairer. 
Happy to make your acquaintance. Hello. I'm Francis. As you can see, I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Objects, curios, tchotchkes. I'll just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't oh. want anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already, so tell me. What's it you want to part with? Well, probably that. I'll give you all of my shoes. I like that the, the category on the inventory there was tchotchke. I didn't notice that until just now. What can I buy back? Oh, I can buy back anything I just sold you. Odd seed. I don't trust that. What errands? Okay, you don't have anything. Cool, thank you. Buy the seeds? Too late! I'm not buying the seeds. Stella! Oh, I've been getting your mail here in the past month. I'm not a post office. You need a mailbox, you poop. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. I can't keep doing this voice. It's too hard. On the throne borax. Ah, oh, you might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done! Okay. <laughs> Am I just gonna get bad jokes? No, okay, I can upgrade things. Cool, I want to upgrade to the hobbyist boat. Or hobbyist station. As well as the intrepid otter. Ooh, I don't have anything to make that. But this gives me a sawmill, and a loom, and a foundry. So that's gonna help me get all that. I'm going bananas on this ship. I don't have anything to do. I got surplus energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me solid? I've, you've always been my favorite niece. You know that. Yeah, I won't tell my cousins. I think I need a place to focus that energy. On a sawmill. There's farms you could be working on. There's a, a kitchen. You said you like to cook. There's fishing. No, a sawmill. Such an uncle. You're just missing some of the key components. Materials, which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on deck, right? Improve? Oh, because there's upgraded versions of things. Interesting. So I could get wall decoration. Oh, cool. So I can decorate their little apartments. Okay, so what do we have? We have a loom, a sawmill, and a foundry. So we need some quartz. and So we need to get the loom first. Because we need linen threads to make the sawmill. Head to this little island. Sprout! You've upgraded your boat! Oh, that's weird. Don't tell Albert. But he left some bolts loose. Probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, mama. I did more than I thought. Let's see here. Oh, this boat's got some advanced options now. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers of the sea as to offer. Uh, so, uh, safe travel mode. Okay. That's nice and comfy. The hat is not insanely large in most cosplays. Then they're not doing it right. Yes, I will be gatekeeping other people's cosplays, apparently. No, I'm kidding. I, re I recognize how actually improbable that hat is. And don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, we'll be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. You can set a course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, bigger boat, more room, have fun. Ooh. 
you said most. A few, it's proportional. Good. They are winning, then. Because honestly, other than the hat, it's a pretty straightforward uh, cosplay. Like... Why is this one sparkling? But I cannot interact with it. It sparkles, and I must have it, but I cannot. Is Sparkle a fishing spot? I don't think so, because you only fish from here. In the back. But also, we've just stopped. And that's weird. Unless this was the destination I was headed to. I guess this was the destination I was headed to. I thought it was an island, but uh, apparently not. Yeah, that was not an island. Some crates. Well, we also have this... The Quartz Dragon we can go visit. That's a plot thing. Sparkling is a diving spot. That's right! Ah! Oh, I forgot diving was a thing. Well, it's gone now. There's a lot going on in this game that you have to keep track of. And I don't I'm not saying that's a bad thing, for the record. A lot of people getting confused by the diving spots. That's yeah. I can see that. Ooh, message in a bottle. And Uncle wants to talk to us. shrimp. Why was the shrimp so hard to catch? Nice catch, Sprout. You just fished this bottle from the sea. That's not trash. Could be anything in there. Tiny ship, old wine, baby crab. Yes, yes. Even could be trash. Crack it open. Okay, Uncle. For sure for Furugawa Towers. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest. Well, now in Guru Fields. Okay. We have a travel brochure. Kill him in a bottle. That's three bottles in a row. Let's cook up some shrimp. Some folks are probably going to get hungry tomorrow. I just wanted to check on your mood, Uncle. He's hungry. Uh, of course he is. Yeah, sure, have a... Oh, I've had a hankering for this. Yeah, have your have your squid. Oh! Sea garbage! And now we know what to do with the diving spots.
Ooh, quartz. Okay, I think that's all the uh, garbage to pick up. Shrimp are hard to catch. They take so long to cook. What is this? Wait, we haven't done something important. Uncle Atun, Uncle Atun, I have something. I haven't hugged you since you came aboard. Oh, was that great favorite niece of mine? Yes. Hmm. I'll also hug this snake. Aw, oh, you're sweet. Shrimp cocktail. Okay. Uh, let's just cook up a herring really quickly. I think the rain goes through these buildings to water your crops. Because I haven't had water or anything. We've been th going through some rain. Well, that would make sense. Oh, we're almost there. Hmm. Awkward. Because I actually want to go to bed and wait until nighttime. Or daytime. But eh, I guess we can just go ahead and... Board. Oh, this. I thought that might be the dragon. I guess it's never let it be here. Following me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're not intertwined, are they not? Still, for the harm it has done me, it looks quite a in pain, doesn't it? But the rocks on his back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. I just smacked the back of its head with a pickaxe. I don't think that's love and care, but what do I know? about losing my boat at this point. I think I know where we get the ports to make the uh, loom. Oh, it's looking much better already. Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it, however I feel about it. But now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Okay, so you have some reason to not like the dragon. Has witnessed the dragon from her past. Okay. Okay. 
Why is there a dragon in your past? This game presents many mysteries, and I like the way it's presenting them. Do you think the frog is literally your uncle, or is he an eventular honorary uncle? I think he's actually an uncle, because I think, I think the animal forms these spirits are taking... Because, again, we have to remember, this is kind of in a spirit world between the living and uh, the the ever whatever they called it but is effectively God and so I think they're representations which is why I think the person who has the whole deal with the dragon has a snake appearance because she talks about their destinies being intertwined and so I think that's meant to be representational of that so I think, yes, I think it is our uncle. It's just the fact that he's a frog is uh, this world thing. Whoa, we got three grilled fish out of that one cod. Avuncular. I haven't heard that word before. That's a great word. Okay, let's set a course. I'm guessing this blue line is like, don't cross this area yet. Let's go to Green Halton Bay. I was waiting for the game to do something, and it was waiting for me. Green Halton Bay. Quite ready to harvest. Oh, that corn was ready to. I was expecting the corn to be taller, honestly, because it's corn. But... Yo, uncle. No, uncle. Okay, you're not hungry yet. It's going. I remember my old sewing machine. It was a diva with gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know, I've always been into textiles. Well, a few years I went into a museum which had tons of different sorts of fab fabric crafting machines, and I couldn't help but notice that you can build a loom on this ship. This could be a great opportunity for a few tricks. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm... I'm... It's hungry. Doesn't like... Uh, tools banging. Well, she can deal with the tools banging because we're all living on this ship together. Mm. Oh, this is absolutely mm. exquisite. Worthy of the fine dining restaurants I've been to. And I've mm. been to those a lot. Thanks a lot. Give you a hug. Mm. Mm. Ah, feeling much better. Ah, need to sit up. Cocktail. 
Let's cook some carrots. Surely this is... No! Wrong one. There we go. I figured that would be tall enough to actually harvest at that point. Uh, is hungry. Okay. Um. Have this poached fruit. Oh, you found my weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a dessert. A delightful sugary perfection. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, let's see if we can build that loom. We can. Ah, uh, she's happy that there's a loom. Mm -hmm. Oh. Interesting. Interesting minigame. You have to hold down the X button <laughs> and wait for it to hit that sweet spot in the middle. It seems the closer you get, the more... Th yeah, you get three if you're right on it. Sprout! Look, sorry, I have... I need to throw some things in the oven. I need to talk to Stella, and then I need to build you a workshop. Okay. Apparently, I completed it. Oh, I need way more linen thread. Okay. So let's go to this island, because we need more maple. Copper ore, I wonder if we smelt that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I came here to cut down those trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. Mm -hmm. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I'm passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very mm -hmm. good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Oh, I bet we can find some of that poetry, and I bet it's great. Oh, what's up, Uncle? Glad you came aboard, too. Ah, oh, look at all these trees. Uh-oh. Uncle's unhappy. It's probably because he's hungry. Yep. Let's give him some fish. Oh, service on the ship is incredible. Yeah, we're not even on a ship. So, where do we want to set sail to next? That's the uh, travel brochure. So, why don't we set sail for that? Well, we work some more on our loom. Not too early. 
Oh, I still got any three. Okay, so it seems you get a grilled veggie plate no matter what veggie you cook. I like popcorn because it cooks quickly. So that's probably just something good to have in your back pocket if people are hungry. Just be like, here, have some popcorn. I'm going to try cooking a piece of wood. I'm, I'm, it lets me, so there must be a reason. Ah, I'm just shy on the linen thread. So that's going to take a little more. A lightning storm! Don't be scared. That's that spirit. Okay, so it seems I need him to perform the Song of Songs on his recorder to actually, um, like lightning in a bottle. That's okay, it's a fun mini game and it helps pass the uh, time while you're sailing. Check everyone's mood. Okay. So I need the planks. But I need a sawmill to do that, so. Stella! Stella, I've got to tell you, there's something I've stumbled upon some time ago, and now it, up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become too hard to ignore. I've spent much time with you here. I think it's time to ready to tackle this challenge. We'll probably find out, only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added a location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Okay? Red new fields discovered. Okay, it's pretty. I made coal. That makes sense. That that's what you get when you cook. Uh... interesting too is that all the mini games to do things like the loom making the um the the sawing isn't necessarily immediately explained it's just like okay 
here you go. Do the thing. You don't see that too much in games anymore. I kind of appreciate this one doing it. Uh, okay. Let's put that over. Put the sock. No. Hey, Squirrelich. Bro's got the gamer intuition. Hashtag gamer voice I'm in. I guess. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting game design in, in that regard. And I kind of appreciate it. Whoa! Because it's not like you can fail either. Oh, this looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why I call it a favor. Yeah, see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. I see what you did there, Uncle. I made sawdust. You're doing it all wrong. Okay, so he'll teach me this one. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blades steady on the cutting line. If you don't, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Eh, give it a try now, you rascal. Ah. It's a fun little mini game. But again, it didn't really explain it. It was just like, oh, here, let Uncle help you in a metaphorical way. Well, in a literal way, but like, just in a way that you'd expect an uncle to help you. Oh, you did great. You're starting to cut wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go around. Mess with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. I, uh, that escalated quickly. Sprout, you've been chopping up it all up in there. I like it. Getting the work done. Learning a new skill. Nice. Now I've got some materials. Maybe you can build me a house. Let me sketch you something real quick. Mm -hmm. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic. But just a few pages here, a few nails there. Oh, here I got some materials to build me something nice. I'm not asking only me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Your hands aren't even near the plates when you use the machine. I know. I don't know what he's scared for. Well, he's a good uncle. That's that's what he's afraid of. That's why he's like, you gotta you gotta be careful. Uh, so I need more planks and way more linen thread to build his. So, and to build the, uh, we need more linen thread to make the, uh, mailbox. Let's do a quick roundup. Stick something in the oven, because sticking things in the oven overnight is perfectly safe. But working with a sawmill that we're that's pretty remote. Uh uh. No 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 no. Okay, sure. We'll cook the sawdust. Whose description is sand from Star Wars episode two. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Thanks, Anakin. You're not even describing the right thing. Wake up! Wake up! Uncle, you always have something for me. Okay, that's another way to make coal. Cool.
Oh, as you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Here I have called Laser Focus Tommy. Don't get me wrong. I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I just, I just like for you to put in some effort into this one. Excuse me? You think I have been putting into effort? I'll give you a shout when I'm getting a craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, bro. A word, please, Stella. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say that's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, but could you help arrange a private space for me on this boat? I think it would help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lessons, but nothing too fancy. A place to sleep and meditate. The lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if you had some natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Okay, Summer wants a sanctuary. Let's go around feeding our folk. I just want to see. Is hungry? Great. Nope. Food. Yes. Have some grilled fish. What about you? Doesn't like a tool's banging. Okay, that's fine. You can suffer. Uh, she's not terribly hungry. She doesn't eat much, like a snake. Weird that. Okay. Limestone and oak planks. Wait, I thought I had. Oh, I, I have maple planks. I don't have oak planks. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go to the... Let's go to the island. And we'll probably call that the end for the day. Visitor. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa Tours? Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history of the floor of this island. After you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry. There's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Not quite. That's gonna kind of put us just... Don't... You know what? That's actually a great place, I think, to leave it so that we can restart there next time. So, I think we're just gonna call it there. So, thank you so much to everyone for tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. It's uh, our first look at Spirit Fair being a psychopomp, and I'm, I'm excited. I I genuinely love basically everything about this game. It controls well. It's beautiful. Uh, the music is good. I like the I, the gameplay idea. Um, and I, I look forward to continuing to explore it. Uh, so we will. We will next week on Thursday. Uh, but join me tomorrow... Uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on P. Tony's channel. I'll be competing on Game of Faves. Uh, so that'd be a lot of fun. It's going to be me, Young Blake, Churro Expedition Company, and uh, a Possum Blossom. So that should be a fun time. And then um, I'll be back on Monday with more Kingdom Hearts at the usual time. Tuesday, more Roller Coaster Tycoon. And Thursday, more Spirit Fair. So thank you to everyone who's liked, followed, subscribed, all that good jazz. Join the Discord. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Take care. God bless. And let's see if there's someone we can raid. Uh, yeah, speaking of P-Tony. Do you guys want to go to uh, Art with a Moth or P-Tony with Halo? And when I say Art with a Moth, that's uh, Junie Perwood. She's a VTuber. Um, she's doing art right now and her, her avatar is a little moth person. It's very cute. You're following both already hot. Huh? Yeah, I'm learning, uh, Catholic, Twi Catholic Twitch is 
wonderfully um not not insular but small like there's a good community all right let's you'll see me on p tony tomorrow let's let's go give juni some some love all right god bless one band that's totally not helpful <laughs>